that I'm going to show you some paper mache that I already made. So those paper mache you can make paper mache that will be anything. When I say anything, I mean in terms of the paper. Make a paper mache with cabo, paper mache with receipt, paper mache with like a bank statement. This is my one's like a bank statement, like just traded and some receipt from the um like some leaflet from the church. And uh, I made this paper mache. Um I air dry those one because the moon is very hot. So this is like uh, the article design process. And when you start to do design process, like you can generate anything from anything, depending on what you want to do with it. But sometimes when you do stuff, it's you don't really have to have ref reference. But if you have reference, it's good. You can have the reference in the beginning. You can have the reference after you find something that match. In my case, you know, I go out a lot and I find it's just natural material there um is this nice shape you see that I find i feel like it kind of be like can be a good reference because i'm talking about like degradable both of them are degradable because it's degradable the seed is degradable and uh, yeah i just put on this uh the cloth for its nice color it's on already and we're left now i need to paint it and I create some idea with it. I had just <laughs> I could always sort of think this is like after some of my fun stones that I find as well. Never one. Basically I could always sort of thing, but just for they always just I was drying them, I sewed them all together. Not intently, but I said it would be nice to just record them. But I think I need to paint those yarns. Yarns tell me. <laughs> I need to paint those uh a dry paper machine and create the bead I want to create. But yeah, maybe I could put some color like uh, yellow, red, and uh, see how it goes. So yeah, so that is it. So yeah, it's quite interesting.